Hey everyone, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we're going to do questions that Phase 4 has left open right now. So what I mean is I went through every single movie and TV show of Phase 4 of Marvel and decided to ask a question for each. So this isn't in release order, it's uh, all the movies release order, then all the TV show release orders. Um, and then I have one for She-Hulk and one for Wakanda Forever that may get answered in the movie or in the show. But I figured this would kind of be a fun thing to do. Um, some of them are kind of dumb questions, uh, but some of them are actual, like, really heavy-hitting questions uh, on the MCU altogether. So the first question is, uh, for Black Widow, does Yolanda still keep in touch with Red Guardian and Iron Maiden? Um, mainly the question is, will we ever see these two characters again? Obviously, Yolanda probably keeps in touch with them, especially if she considered them family and everything like that. Um, I don't know if it's, like, to the extent of she lives with them or something like that. But, <clears throat> mainly, I'm wondering if we will see these characters again or if they're going to kind of just be pushed under the Black Widow blanket. Um... I, if they do show up, I have a feeling it'll probably be in Secret Wars. I don't think it would be in Kang Dynasty, but if anything, it would be Secret War. Um, next, for Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings, what are the Ten Rings, is the question. Uh, they're obviously not Kree tech. They're um, a mystery to everybody right now. This one, I feel, will be answered down the line. Um, whether it be in Shang-Chi uh, solo films or in one of the Avengers movies itself. Uh, I'm betting on it's some type of Kang technology um, that he's going to be using to help fight the Avengers. So it's going to kind of be like a Mind Stone Vision sort of situation um, for him. Next is for Eternals. Uh, and this is the question that actually inspired this video is what happened to the giant statue in the middle of the ocean um, obviously it's not a statue it's a giant being but uh, we haven't had any acknowledgement about that at all in the MCU and I don't know if it's because Eternals uh, hasn't taken place it, Eternals might be like the last thing uh, to take place in phase 4 so maybe everything else we haven't seen yet um or hasn't seen it yet but this is like a very major question to be asking because there's a lot of implications um with stuff that happens in that movie that would be world changing for example the giant statue or the giant figure appearing in the sky over london um yeah there's i mean people are probably numb to a lot of superhero stuff but the fact that, like, this happens, this would be scary even if you're numb to the fact that superhero stuff happens every day. Next is for Spider-Man No Way Home. This is one that I don't know if we'll get an answer to, but I really hope we will, is does the Andrew Garfield Peter Parker find his Mary Jane? Um, and also on top of that, does Peter, uh, our, the MCU Peter, decide to open up to his MJ which I didn't want to put that on here because we know that's going to happen in Spider-Man 4 um, but my real question is will we ever get to see uh, Shailene Woodley's MJ or any other MJ in the Andrew Garfield Spider-Verse um, there's been rumors that Amazing Spider-Man 3 will be made I don't know if it's going to actually happen but that's why I left that question on there Next is for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And this is what's happening to Earth 838 now that all basically all its heroes are gone. The Illuminati, which I feel like the implication was the Illuminati was that version's, that universe's Avengers. And now that they're basically all but gone, who's going to defend the world from let's say, a Kang threat or a Doctor Doom threat or something like that. Um, 
the Earth seemed very well off with the Illuminati, how fast will it fall apart now that all but one are dead? Next is for Thor, Love and Thunder, and who truly is love? Um, obviously, it kind of left it open-ended of, is she just um, the resurrected daughter of Gore with some powers, or did Eternity um, really morph into her, or is she an offshoot of mater Eternity, or anything like that? Um, I think that will be something that will be explored probably in uh, Secret Wars as well, or if there's a Thor 5, maybe Thor 5. Uh, but yeah, that's a very curious question. And my Wakanda Forever question is, where has Atlantis been this whole time? The MCU has been around since 2008. The earliest MCU movie takes place, minus the beginning of Eternals, takes place in 1944. Where has Atlantis been this whole time? I mean, I guess you could say the same for Wakanda, but Wakanda had an explanation. Atlantis may have an explanation, but still, it's like, where have they been this whole time? So my question for uh, WandaVision moving on to the TV shows is, is Maria Rambeau still alive? And if she is not, did Carol give her her cancer through like radiation or something like that? And why I ask if Maria Rambeau is still alive? We never saw a body. Uh, Monica wakes up uh, from the blip, not knowing, with nobody in the room or whatever. So my question is, is it possible that she faked her death um, to go up with S.H.I.E.L.D. and help Nick Fury do whatever he's doing up in space? Um, I could see that being a possibility, uh, and I would like to see that explored in Secret Invasion, if that is true. Uh, next, for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, who is Sharon Carter talking to at the end of it? Um, she is Power Broker, or she could be possibly talking to Power Broker on this. My money is she's talking to Val, um, or maybe even talking to like the Wrecking Crew or something where it's not like high level like Kang or something could also be possibly talking to Modok since he is in Ant-Man 3 I just remembered that um, but yeah who is Sharon Carter communicating with in the post credit scene of Falcon and the Winter Soldier now for Loki my question is where is Sylvie We'll find this out in Loki Season 2, obviously. But they kind of ended with her killing the one that remains and Loki go, going back to the TVA and everything's different. So my question is, where is Sylvie in this situation? Is she still at the end of time? Or did she get teleported somewhere else? Or did a Kang variant come in, snatch her away, and disappear? Or like has her prisoner or something like that? We'll definitely find that out in Season 2. Now for What If, you could have millions of questions for What If, but this is my question because it looks like we're going to be exploring Captain Carter more. Is Steve the Crimson Dynamo? Uh, and what my theory comes about this is, obviously, Peggy saved Bucky. Bucky died a natural life, obviously. There's no Winter Soldier. Obviously, the Winter Soldier program still happened. But Steve Rogers, um, they find his suit and everything like that, which was the Hydra Stomper. My question is, do you think that the Hydra Stomper became the Crimson Dynamo? Since that would be like the Russian, ver like how uh, Winter Soldier was originally a Russian character, uh, do you think that Hydra Stomper became the Crimson Dynamo? So, for Hawkeye, this one's an obvious question. I actually kind of want to change this on the fly because the original question was, is Kingpin alive? Yes, he is. He's going to be an Echo and Daredevil. So then my real question is, did Clint Barton officially retire? Now that Katie Bishop is in the picture, Echo's in the picture, um, Clint really doesn't have the need to be out there besides being a mentor. So is he officially retired and Katie Bishop is officially Hawkeye? That kind of left open-ended, so maybe we'll see um, if there's a Hawkeye Season 2 or a Young Avengers 
or by the time of King Dynasty or something like that. Uh, the next one is for um, Moon Knight. Does Jacob Lockley have a different costume? We saw that with Steve and um, Mark. They both had different moon variations of the Moon Knight costume. My question is, does Jacob just have the regular Moon Knight costume or does he have his own? We'll find out, obviously, in Moon Knight Season 2 or maybe even Blade or Midnight Sun, something along that. So for Miss Marvel, the question is, who else have we seen that is a mutant? I believe I made a theory video on this. You could check it out. Um, but yeah, with implying that Captain Marvel was a mutant the whole time, who else could have been a mutant that we've seen? And then finally for She-Hulk, this was kind of a throwaway question because as you guys know, it's being released right now. But is there a Red Hulk slash a Red She-Hulk that we might run into in the future? Considering that this Super Soldier Serum was passed on to Anton. Um, also, my other actual question for this that would be a more sensible question is, well, is the leader, uh, does the leader have something to do with all of this? He was set up all the way back in Incredible Hulk, and we haven't seen him since. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think of these questions down below. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you, have an amazing day. Thank you.